Philosophy by Michelle with Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and it is Wednesday, January 1st, 2020. I am totally not ready for the new year to start, but it's here whether I'm ready or not, and I'm kind of glad to see the old year come to an end. I was going to yesterday set up my new planner for the year. I bought one months ago because I was at Michael's and I knew that I wouldn't want to be scrambling to buy a new one at Christmas time, and I saw it like three days earlier. It's gone. The other planner that is in a different color that I got for Christmas a couple years ago and has been sitting on a shelf ever since is gone. I don't know. I hope that is not a sign of the upcoming year. So my daughter wanted to, yesterday before our day went to Helen Handbasket, go to Michael's to look for Christmas clearance. So I went with her and I spent five bucks and I bought a new planner so that I don't have to fight this whole thing. There will be more years I will use the others. I buy these Artist Loft dot grid journals and I really, I have my receipts in there. They've got little dots that you can use to make straight lines, but there aren't lines. And I really like these. This will be my third year using one of these. And I have a Loistrum, I think that's how it's pronounced, the fancy ones. I really like these. I was trying to get things done before the end of the year. I told you my goal was to have the Emerald City Cell and Crocuses on the Windowsill both finish, but that kind of changed when I was working on Crocuses and realized I am totally in a confetti stitching mood. So I have been stitching on Crocuses. I have got almost all of the back stitching done. I've spent the past three days back stitching like a mad woman. And the details pop. These yellow flowers were blobs. Now with the back stitching to define the petals and to define the crochet hook and the doily and the glasses. I loved it before I did the back stitching. Oh my gosh, I love it so much more now. I've got a couple more flowers to do. I've got some window background to fill in. And then there are two rows of dark stitching down here in a solid color that I was going to put off until the end so that I made sure I had lots of floss for everything else, because if I was going to skip something, that would be it. Then I forgot about it until this morning. I could have had this done by the end of the year, except I spent the past week sulking about my new glasses and the changes they have made in my vision, and nobody warned me that progressives would mess with my peripheral vision, and I am it gets better day by day, but I am still hating it. <laughs> Emerald City Cell did not get done because while I feel like stitching confetti, I went through and I filled in all of the missing little bits of my hedgehogs. And I did the back stitching on the hedgehogs and I love them. I did not think these were going to get done because I had hit a point where I had little tiny single stitches missing and could not figure out what shade of brown they should be. I hadn't hit the point yet where I was just going to pick a shade around and stitch them whatever color they happen to turn out. I think they're all the right color. This is currently living on my fireplace while I wait to find the perfect thrifted frame. And then my daughter says she wants it. I'm not sure how that happened. This is the child who told me that after I'm dead and gone, she's not saving all my stitching. But she's claimed this piece. I don't know how that works but she's very into hedgehogs and has a hedgehog advice site and a pet hedgehog and I'm gonna be a nice mommy and let her have it it's not like the Nancy Drew quilt Christmas happened I said I am not ready for the new year but I'm doing a video today because if I'm gonna block talk about the stuff I got for Christmas I should probably do it sometime closer to Christmas got knitting modular which is like a multiple choice choose your own adventure how to knit your own shawl I am loving this book and I will do a video at some point soon explaining why I am loving this book but I really want to start st knitting so I have a visual explanation of why I love it so much I also got what is the name of this thing Stitchcraft, which I did a video about a while back when I had it out from the library and I am so happy to have it in my own stash on my sewing room bookshelf forever and ever because I don't know when I'm gonna stitch one of those gorgeous anatomical pieces but I am gonna do it and I got a bunch of kits but I am going to 
cut here and film the kits in a different room so they're not reflecting my entire house back at you because that packaging is so shiny. I am super happy because I got most of my Amazon wish list for Christmas. I have wanted the Gold Collection European Bistro for months and months. I just love all of the detail in this one and how you can see into the rooms and I would be starting this tomorrow except I also got Maggie the Messmaker and it's a totally different level of detail but I love her just as much and then I start thinking well I could start Max in the Adirondacks I'm gonna let myself pick one to start and then nothing else new until Mania which is gonna be hard because this isn't all I got for Christmas I got another Riolis window scene. I won't be starting this one immediately because a lot of it is like crocuses on the windowsill, but oh my gosh, I love crocuses on the windowsill so much, but I definitely want to do another one like it. And I got spicy condiments. I already had the one with the lavender hanging on the hanger. It's very similar, but with lavender flowers instead of all the spicy peppers. This one fits our style of cooking better, so I think I'll be doing this one first. I collect kits. I do not worry about when I'm going to get all these kits done because either I will or I won't. And the ones that I don't stitch eventually in the very, very distant future can go to on to someone else. I love Underwater Kingdom. I can't remember who it was on Floss Tube who was stitching this one. But the colors and the fact that it's an octopus and a sunken ship and I love it. I love all of these. Yeah, Beach Babies, that's the name of this one. It's another Dimensions kit. Love the ocean, love the beach, love little children doing happy childhood things. And Cafe by the Sea. This one looks so much easier than European Bistro. I can't even tell you how much easier. Like apples and oranges, we're not going to compare them. And then I got some Elizabeth Hartman quilt patterns. This one is Greenhouse. It's interesting that she doesn't show you the entire quilt, either on the front or the back. But I have seen stitch samples of these, so I know what they're going to look like. And Beehive which my husband keeps bees. I think our two hives are hanging in there so far this winter. And whether they are or not, we will love bees regardless. And Lepidoptera, which is gorgeous, but oh my gosh, that looks so hard. So this is a big chunk of what I hope to be working on in 2020, or maybe I'll be working on the kits I got back in 2018. Either way, I'm happy. Plans for 2020. I do not plan out my whole year in advance. I do not plan out my month in advance. That's not what makes me tick. What I thought I was going to do is wait for Mania. and fin I've got a bunch of mostly finished things, so I could maybe see what I can get done before Mania and then... The month of May is going to be a free-for-all. I can start whatever I want to, whatever catches my eye, and then that'll be what I work on for the rest of the year. In theory, sort of, kind of. But I really want to start European Bistro, and I really want to start Maggie the Messmaker. And I should be able to start one of my Christmas presents, right? One of my Instagram followers asked if I knew of any Riola stitch-alongs, which I did some looking and I could not find one, so... Do you want to do a Riola stitch along with me? Because I love these kits and I totally will do that. i um, not going to start it till probably closer to the end of January because like I said, I was not ready for the new year to jump at me. I'll come up with a hashtag and I'll do a video explaining what I have in mind once I have time to catch my breath and figure out just what I do have in mind. I'm going to be spending the next couple of days setting up my brand new planner and hopefully finishing crocuses on the windowsill and sewing enough reusable grocery bags for a family of five, which I am not looking forward to and have been putting off until I can't put it off anymore. I had thought that I could go grocery shopping yesterday and put it off for another week, but 
there were other emergencies that needed to be handled and that didn't happen. So I guess today and tomorrow are bag sewing days. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Michelle with Michelle's Romantic Tangle. And I'll be back with you again soon with more videos and probably a tutorial on how to sew lots of reusable grocery bags out of an old fitted sheet. See you soon.